Good evening, good evening everyone. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. The sense of a lunar wind. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Well, good evening, everybody. Greetings in Jesus' name. Greetings in Jesus' name. San Bonane Kamendika Jesu. Okay.
Sanbonani, good evening, everybody. Hello, hi. Sanbonani, it's Nongke. Tricia. It's Tricia. Yeah. Who's there? Well, welcome, everybody. We're just going to play one last song. Usually, we would be singing live, worshipping together with you, but because we are home, so we... Yeah, Oh, my sister Sandy is very sick. We are going to pray. Maybe in the meantime, 
maybe in the meantime let's all send prayer requests if you have a prayer request just send it through so that when we when we are done we can start praying yeah hey. you can just send through your prayer request if you have a prayer request please send through so that when we're done listening to the song we can start praying Sunday soon So how is it a, a testimony sort of? <laughs> because I think it's really, because she thinks it's not nice. My prophet keeps saying this to me. That's why I'm married. I want to be married. Are you married? I'm married. I want to be married. And I think I remember she mentioned you in five digit salary. There was a time there was a time somebody actually This was last week actually. Yeah, at a at a five digit salary. The contract is only for, for three months. months. Listen to me. Oh, let me, let me. I had a three, I had a three month contract okay. with Nancy that Hold lasted on. for three years. Yeah, yeah Umfula is, is on the on the other side. Saying something. I had a, I had a contract with three man that lasted for three years. It lasted for three years because I was there and I just did my job, and the company decided we can't let this man go. She's an asset. That was in 2007. I was still very, very, very young. They just decided now. Nah, We see that, uh, we see that Tanazil, Tanazil will see that. But my prayer request um, for all our Tamil hospital lost nine staff members of police. There's always more. There's, there's always more. There's always more. There's always more. Oh, there we go. We're good. of December that God can do something and God can still do something great. God can still do something great. We do not stop believing. And we don't set a time for him according to according to men. So we hold on to God. We continue believing. We continue believing.
I do see your requests, guys. Actually, we do see them. As they continue to come, we do see them and we acknowledge them. So we're going to pray for sickness, we're going to pray for financial breakthrough, and we're going to pray for jobs, and we're going to pray for God to open more doors. In the name of Jesus. That is a gunshot. Hi guys, 2023, God is going to bless me with twins and marriage. That's me. We're going to pray. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Well, we are, we're here going to pray. Can you, can you, good to see you. Um, we are going to pray. <coughs> Let me pray. Father, in Jesus' name, our Heavenly Father, our dear God, we come before you this evening, and Lord, we thank you once again for the opportunity to come before your throne. We live in your presence where fullness of joy is found. Lord, we come before you this evening. Once again, it's us. Once again, yet again, we come to you with our hearts open wide, expecting from you in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you have been with us until this far. You have never left us, O oh God. And Father, we thank you that you are our shield. And Father, we thank you that you are our rock. In the name of Jesus, you are the good shepherd. Lord, we thank you this evening and we come before your throne. We thank you for each and every life that is tuned in right now. Father, everybody that is watching us and listening and praying with us, everybody who is connected with us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we bring every prayer request this evening. Into, uh, we bring it unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that you said in your word, they that believe will see miracles. Father, we come with every prayer request and we commit it unto you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you said you are not a man that you would lie, nor a son of man that you would change your mind. Every prayer request submitted this evening in the name of Jesus, we commit it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for everyone. We pray for every heart. We pray for every marriage. We pray for every business. We pray for every family in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that you say we should come to you with a heart that is full of thanksgiving. Baba wetona mandla unke siya bonga nandamba ama ugutinko sugonke sikela yu ya senze la gona. Ngeka malika chesu. Lord. Lord, we want to thank you in advance for testimonies coming, coming our way in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you for marriages being restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to thank you for those, oh God, who have been waiting for a testimony also that will be theirs. For those, Father, who have been believing you for a change in their situations. Lord, we thank you that everyone is coming back with a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. In advance, Father, we say thank you for making a way. In advance, Father, we say thank you for healing. We thank you for mending the brokenhearted. We thank you for restoring that marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, that your eye and your hand is upon everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we know that we have no other hope. We, we trust nowhere else but in you. 
because you say in your word, blessed is a man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is in God. Yes, you say, cast is a man who believes and trusts in people. Baba Siabong, that every time we come to you in prayer, we come in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Praise God. We praise are back. God. Praise God. My, Tifuna, the book of, there's, there's two things that I want, two different things that I want. I'm hoping, I would say, um, I will do at least one of them, and then the other, we will do it some other time. We're going to read on Second Chronicles chapter 14. Second Chronicles chapter 14. Second Chronicles chapter 14. Um, so we'll start from verse 1. When Abijah died, he was buried in the city of David. Then his son Asa became the next king. There was peace in the land for 10 years. There was peace in the land for 10 years. Asa did what was pleasing and good in the sight of the Lord his God. He removed the foreign altars and the pagan shrines. He removed the foreign altars and the pagan shrines. We read this the other day. We spoke about this the other day, but I want to bring it back to you. I want to bring it back to you. Um, he removed the foreign altars and the pagan shrines. He smashed the sacred pillars and cut down the Asherah poles. He commanded the people of Judah to seek the Lord, the God of their ancestors, and to obey his law and his commands. Second Chronicles chapter 14 from verse 1 to verse 4. In fact, not from verse 1 to verse 4, but I, I like o, o, o verse 4 because it says, He commanded the people of Judah to seek the Lord the God of their ancestors, and to obey his law and his commands. From verse 1, yes. O verse 5, Uti. Asa also removed the pagan shrines as well as the increase, as the, as the incense altars from every one of Judah's towns. So Asa's kingdom enjoyed a period of peace. During those peaceful years, he was able to build up he was able to build up the fortified towns throughout Judah. No one tried to make war against him at this time, for the Lord was giving him rest from his enemies. <laughs> uh, verse 3, Uti, he removed the foreign altars and the pagan shrines. He smashed the sacred pillars and cut down the Asherah poles. Verse 4, he commanded the people of Judah to seek the Lord and the spot. Right? But the Bible says about Asa, no one tried. No one tried. There was peace during his reign. There was peace during his reign. Jonga, no, I, I need you to, to note certain things for me. Note this thing. He destroyed things. And he was able to build things. He was destroying altars. And he was able to build fortified cities throughout Judah. He destroyed and he was able to build. He destroyed... That's how he was able to build. There are altars that he destroyed. And he was able to build. Matthew chapter 6, 33. Oh, Switched on 
Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God in his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. O verse 4, Waga 2 Chronicles, o chapter 14, o verse 4, Uti, he commanded the people of Judah to seek the Lord. I know we have spoken about the altars that we need to destroy, and I know the other day we were actually destroying altars. In fact, before we were talking about destroying these evil altars that have been set by our families and by other people and by whatever, whatever evil altars that have been set, right? I, I, I know we spoke about that, but first we had spoken about seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It is amazing to me that we actually find a scripture that has both these things together. That it is not only enough that you actually, um, but in, you, you only destroy the evil altars. But after you have destroyed the evil altars, what is going to keep the peace of God in your life is that when now you seek after God. And so what does it mean? What did Asa mean when he told the people of the land when it was time for his reign? What, what it meant for, for him to say to the people, seek the Lord. It was that he was saying that, listen, we have destroyed altars that belonged to other gods. Now let your focus not be on anything else anymore yep. except unto the Lord. Yep. So whatever it is that you do, when it is, it goes, we've been saying this, when your heart must be, must say, how is God doing today? What is God saying today? Am I moving according to what God is saying? Am I moving according to what God is doing? You understand? Am I feeling the way God feels? Why, can, why are you dancing and the Lord is in mourning? You understand? So that's what it means. You seek after everything that concerns him. So most people will seek after everything that concerns him. And yet what he wants is for us to actually seek after him. He must have our heart. He must have our heart in his hand. Our lives must just be about him. So Asa does a great thing, which is what I want to talk about, which is the reason why we have prayer requests that we have, all of us. I have my own prayer requests. I have doors that I want God to open. I have people that I need God to heal. I have a lot, let me not even talk about other people. For me, I have doors that I want God to open for me. I have challenges that are, are facing me. I have things that are pertaining to me that I need fixed. But before, maybe let me not say even before, when I receive the revelation, there are evil altars that have been set that I was born into. That I was born into. Because Uasa is coming to rule a nation that already exists. Mm -hmm. There was a king before him. Mm -hmm. And perhaps the king was even his brother for that matter. Amen. And his brother dies or his father dies and he takes over. What I love, as you all know, that Israel has been going through a different set of kinds of wars. If it's not the Philistines after them, it's the Amorites after them, it's the Canaanites after them, it's these ones and Perizzites and these ones. There's a lot of ites that are after them. Right? But the deal here is this. He comes in and he, because he is a man after a heart of God, that's what the Bible says. However, in what we see, all that he wanted was for people to go back to God. So I can imagine that during the reign of this other king, this man had an upright heart between Yena Notiko. This man was just standing, looking up to God, and, 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 and the only thing that he wanted was to just make sure that God is cool. God is okay. God is good. He's, 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 he's not. Everything is right with him. So he comes in, meaning that there are altars that are there, that the other king had allowed. He comes in, he destroys all these altars. He destroys them, brings everything down. And they even mention them. He, he brings down Asher, the Asherah poles. He brings everything down. Because now people must focus themselves on Jehovah. So you may be where you are and wondering why things are happening the way they are happening in your life. And I want to say to you, for some of us, it is still because of the altars, the evil altars that have been built in our families. 
that are speaking to other gods. Amen. That are not speaking to the God who is Jehovah. The one who actually said, do not have any other gods except me. So this thing will actually never change. That is why you will see that there are people that you think are God's firstborns. Because God loves these people. He does this and that and that and that for them. For some of us, it is a requirement from God to live in a certain way. In order for us to have certain doors that are open to us. Some of us are in a financial crisis. Why? Because we have been spending according to how we feel. Not according to the order that we get from the Lord. That is why we are a people of the Spirit. We lean towards the Spirit, not we lean towards our flesh. Our flesh will take you to hell <laughs> here on earth. That is why also the Bible says, I set before you life and death. Choose life. There is a choice that has been made for you, even though the choice is yours. Choose life. Choose life. So we cannot run away from the fact that there are decisions that we have made. We made these fleshly decisions that actually led us to death. Amen. And now we need to choose life. We need to come to a point, yes, your financial breakthrough you are going to get. Yes, your healing you will get. Yes, your job you will get. But we cannot run away from the truth of the matter, which is the foundation of all these things. Check the altars. There is a pulse. There are many different pulses that, 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 are, that are, are, are beating in your life. There are many different gods. There's many different altars. There's too many fires that are burning in your life. There's incense that smells in your life. And this incense is not an incense that has been bent unto Jehovah. It is bent unto last full it's desires. Calling other gods. It's calling other gods. Mm. It's calling under other gods. Amen, MJ. So we, we have to become a people of the spirit. But what do we do first? Before we can build... We see there's a pattern here. The same thing that God said to Jeremiah. That he says, I have called you to uproot and to destroy. And then it talks about building. So this guy comes in. Before he can set anything and put anything in place, he gets there and he destroys the evil altars. Everything that does not belong to Jehovah. And let me tell you something. He's not afraid of what people are going to say. He's not even afraid if the nation that he's going to rule now is going to come to them and say to them, yeah, but this is what we know. Till now we know we're already doing these things. No, he gets there and all that he is about is Jehovah. He does not care, Uguti, what are people going to say. He is not even afraid, Uguti, they are going to stone him. He's not afraid that they are going to dethrone him. He doesn't care. All he cares about is how God is unja nuti. Uti nuti. That's what he cares about. And let me tell you, in 2022, in 2021, in 2020, in 2019, and a long time ago, in fact, even before you were born, even before the days of John the Baptist, what God wanted was for men to live for him, not for men to live for himself. And now because man has lived for himself, these are the things that have happened to us. We have been experiencing the fruit of the flesh because we lived according to what we wanted, to what we saw. Yet the Bible had been there even before you were seven years old the Bible was there saying do not conform to the patterns of the world but be ye transformed listen to me if Asa had come and he came and he was a man who had decided that the only name that is going to be lifted up in this nation is the name of Jehovah he comes in and he destroys all these other altars and he only chooses the altar of Jehovah he is a man who just wants to seek after God's heart and he commands these people that after you have done all these things seek position yourself in a way. So it is not enough for you to come and to break the generational curses and to do this and to do that and destroy these things only to find you are going to build the same thing again. So before you even build, there is a secret so that this time around you can build in the right way. Before you even build, position yourself in the right way. Otherwise, if you don't position yourself in the right way, you are still going to reap the same fruit you have been reaping before. Why? Because you still have bad seeds in your hand. Before we build, before we first let us destroy, and then 
we seek after God. And then we build. But listen to me. What happens as he... <laughs> I'm not hearing that he prayed for peace. I am not praying that. I'm not, I'm not seeing that. He, he said, Lord, let there be what and let there be what and let there be what. No. No, 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 no. The Bible doesn't say he prayed. And yet, go verse 6. The Bible says, during those peaceful years, okay, let me start from verse 5. Asa, Asa also removed the pagan shrines as well as the incense altars from every one of Judah's towns. So Asa's kingdom enjoyed a period of peace. He didn't pray for it. He did not pray for a period of peace. He did not pray. But because he did what he did, and because his heart was set on seeking after God, the Bible says he, 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 his kingdom enjoyed a period of peace, right? During those peaceful years, he was able to build. That's when he was able to build. They receive a breakthrough of being able to build. Why? Because they have destroyed evil altars. They have put away this, their evil ways and they have decided to seek. They have to seek God. And then there was peace. They didn't even pray for it. During those peaceful years, he was able to build up the fortified towns throughout Judah. No one tried to make war. <laughs> no one. No one tried to make war. No one tried to make war. You know what I'm thinking actually about this peaceful thing and building up fortified cities and everything. The Bible says, unless the Lord builds a house, they that build are building in vain. So if it is not God who is building, then why are you wasting your time? Unless the Lord guards a city. Get fun. Get fun. It's all the same. It's all the same. So it all goes back to the Matthew 6.33. It all goes back to one thing. Uh, after you've done everything that you can to stand, stand. Meaning what? After we were, whether there's rains and storms and floods and fires that come, do not move from your standing point, which is what? Which is that when you are for God. When you are for God. Chitwaka watch my room. That is why the Bible says you will see them by their fruit. You see them by what? By their. You can tell us what you want to tell us. I can tell you what I want to tell you. But it is the fruit that speaks for me. It is what comes out of me that speaks for me. How is your heart? Who are you seeking after? You want to know why you are going through what you are going through? Because yes, we can pray for the sickness to go away. The sickness will go away because Jesus is a healer. He is the ultimate healer. We can pray for breakthroughs and breakthroughs will come. Yes, my prophet Mpo, you are going to get your six-digit salary. And the Lord will shock you off your pants. You will get it. When you get there, when your problems, when your financial problems start arising, you will come back and want an eight-digit salary. Why? Because you did not fix the root of the problem. Let's fix the root. The root is one. You seek. Who are you seeking after? That is why we are dying today. That is why we are dying today. We, we say, Father, uproot everything. That is me. I'm praying already uproot Lord God Almighty every evil altar that I have set against myself. In fact, I am uprooting it today in the name of Jesus. Even the evil altars that I was born into. Some of you will have to say, even the evil altars that I married into, they are speaking on my behalf and I silence them today in the name of Jesus. I silence them. 
I am destroying everything today that does not speak of the name of Jehovah. What was that symbol? I am mighty father. Thank you. Do you the symbol? The symbol of that was one. The symbol was that I am no longer God. It was also a way of seeking after God's heart. It was also a way of posturing their hearts. They were preparing themselves to focus only on the Lord so that there is nothing that speaks and distracts them on their way. So yes, they were going to receive peace, but before they received the peace of the Lord, they needed to align themselves and posture themselves in a certain way. It is the posture of the heart. So Asa is not praying and asking for peace. He is not praying and asking that nobody tries to make war. Hey, that is what is sitting in my head and in my heart right now. He lives a life that brings him to a place that God stops even his, his enemies from wherever they are. He lives peaceably with all men. Ooh, when the Bible says that up, up until God makes even your, your, your enemies to be at peace with you, he was living in that. His enemies were at peace with him. Even his enemies came to a point where they were at peace with him. It is a scripture that is in the Bible. It was not what he said. We speak, we pray, we say a whole lot of things that we want to say. We wake up tomorrow and we still seek after our own selves. And we are not seeking after God. And we come back, we go, we go through that what? We get hurt by our own desires. Says they they stayed they, 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 for the for the ten years that this guy was king. Why? Because his heart was on the Lord. For ten solid years, the Bible says there was peace there. There was peace. So here you are. Yes, you are not a king. And yes, you were born into your life the way it is, we understand. But Asa also, he had come into his kingship and everything was a mess. But he didn't stay in the mess that he was in. He did not even play victim because of the mess that he was in. And be like, oh, nah, I only got here and this is what is happening. What else can I do? I'm afraid of... No, 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 he was not afraid of men. He was, his fear was with God. The only thing that he cared about was doing what was right before the Lord. So oh. what does he do? He gets there and he destroys everything. He's not afraid of even these gods or that he is destroying. He's not afraid. You and I are afraid that when we start praying shikataya and we uproot these things, we are worried that our mother's things will follow us. Our father's things will, oh, my father is a sangoma. If I pray anything against him, I will see spiders in my room. Listen, the man did not care. The man did not care because he knew that the spiders of his father that will run after him or chase after him in the dream are nothing compared to what the Lord can do to him. He had the fear of God within him. So the truth of the matter is that we do not revere God. We do not. That is why we keep coming here every day, to fix the posture. So he fixed the posture not only of himself and his, and his family. Joshua what? <laughs> Joshua came to a point where he was like, mm -mm -mm, I'm not going to do this thing with you guys anymore. Uh -uh. As of this day, y'all choose for yourselves. Otherwise, now I'm going to choose for me and my household. And, what, and no, that guy came in and he said, listen to me and listen to me carefully. All of you in every city, the Bible says, in every city he went in and he took down every evil altar. He was not going to come in and say me and my ha 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 ha. He was not going to do the small waters, no. He stood there and he was like, listen, everyone. Everyone. That is why David talks about the fact that the Lord is my, what is my shepherd? He makes me to lie down. I don't have to go looking for green pastures. 
I don't, I don't have to go. The only thing I need to do is to allow him to be shepherd. It is to place him where he belongs as a shepherd, as Lord and as shepherd. Lord, the ruler of my heart. Shepherd, the one who leads me. He leads me. Where he leads me, I follow. It is not in what we say. It is in how we live. It is not in what we sing. It is in how we live. The Lord wants our hearts. He's come for our hearts. In 2023, he's coming for your heart. In 2022, he had come for your heart. So you no longer do the things you do and you say you are doing them in the name of the Lord when you know you are doing them in your name. My financial distress. Even so you get to a point where you don't even have to work because look, when you seek after, when you seek the Lord, you're not seeking for financial breakthrough or for what, what, for what. No, no, I'm not condemning anybody. No. When you are seeking the Lord, your focus is on Him, the author and the finisher of your faith. Whether ula lunga lila or ula lila or whatever, your focus is on Him. It's not in your cupboards. Your focus is on Him. It's not in your electric meter. Uproot, 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 uproot. Some of you, it's not even the evil altars of your families. It is the things that you have built in your life by yourself. Uproot them tonight. Because when you receive that financial breakthrough, you do not want to be in the same place in five years' time. Uproot tonight. Be honest with yourself and uproot in the name of Jesus. Uproot, 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 uproot. Take them out. 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 Uproot up all these other gods. Some of you, the Bible says, love does not seek for its own. Some of you are drowning in marriages that you are not supposed to be drowning in because of your selfishness. I would have said this even when I was single. You should go and see my wall. I'm not saying this because now I'm married and I think I know it all. No, no. It is the truth of the matter. Some of our relationships are scattered. Even our families are scattered. Why? Because the Bible says love does not seek for its own. Otando aluzifuneli ogwalo. Otando aluzifuneli ogwalo. That's the reason why Jesus says, Father, let this cup pass. And then he comes back and he says, but not my will. He says, not my will, but yours. Good death, lost tetangai. So when we seek after God, it is a place of death. For Jesus to be what he is, for his name to be set above all the other names. Why? Because he died. Amen. He died. So you are standing, I repeat, for the 28th time since we met in April. We are standing in front of our own progress and yeah. our own greatness by ourselves Preach because it, we yeah. refuse to die. Preach it, mommy. So the man comes in, he starts leading. So yeah. now this man is you. It's not, even, it's not even about your life. It's not even about your family. Or about, it's about you. Yep. You have now come to a point where you are deciding that, listen to me, I am set, the Lord says, I set you this day. Jeremiah chapter 1. To explain what is happening to you this day. Today I appoint you to stand up against nations and kingdoms. Today, I appoint you to stand against nations and kingdoms. Some you must uproot and tear down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My, must uproot. That is why o King Asa shows up. That's it. You. 
had been set a long time ago in your life. Uproot. Do it now. Uproot. In the name of Jesus. Uproot, uproot, uproot. Mm -hmm. Mighty God. Uproot. Susa, Susa, Susa. You know your things. You know the things that are happening there with you. Uproot. Today, I want to uproot selfishness, me. I want to uproot selfishness. I said to you the other time, and I keep saying this to myself, every time I try to rise up. I wonder this place, I wonder where we are right now. <laughs> this place teaches me many things in one day. It's inside in front of if you are not going to die while you are still at home, you will think Uguti marriage is meant to make you die. No. Death is what you're supposed to be doing or going through on a daily basis of being a Christian. That is why we get into parenting and we become bad parents. Why? Because we didn't want to die before we became parents. And we say, yo, parenting will, will test you. No. No. You don't have to wait to be a parent. Uproot, uproot, uproot your selfishness. Uproot it, uproot it, uproot it. It is a God. You yourself are standing as a God against yourself. Uproot your selfishness and uproot your pride. That when you stay in a lonely place and you are what what and you are what uproot up take it out take it out take it out take it out in the name of Jesus take it out because some of you want to leave jobs that God placed you there for His purpose but you want God to serve your purpose at work where you are uproot uproot take it out take it out Amen. take it out it's about god it's all about jesus it is all about god son we are entering 2023 in selflessness that's right so we must get to a point where we fight about who do, no no when what do you want to watch no you what do you want to watch no man don't worry about me when what do you want to watch no no what do you yes the next 15 minutes must be about the fact that i don't want to watch what i want to watch i want to watch what you want to watch die die die, die. uproot uproot before you die uproot Take it out. Take, you know the things that are standing before you. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. And, and listen to me. It's not going to happen overnight, right? It's an everyday thing. So every day we die together. Every day we uproot together. Every day you remember who and whose you are. And one of these things, you're going to, now I remember whose I am because you want God to show up in your life. Ah, Sana, from today moving forward, it is about you remembering whose you are by the way you live. Yep. You must know who you're living for. That is whose you are. So you know that you are living for the audience of one. Nobody else. You live for the audience of God. And do not think, Oguti, he says yes and uh, to everything. No, he's not a yes man. He's not a yes God. Yes, 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 yes. His promises are yes and amen. Mm -hmm. But he cannot say yes to everything that you want. You cannot show up and be unruly and want to be a God over yourself and still want God to be God over you at the same time. It doesn't work. We are standing in the way of people experiencing God in our lives. Why? Because we are showing up. 2023, no more show up. No more show up. No more show up. Even when you sing. Now, baby. Even when we sing, you stand there and you sing. And you feel that you sound so nice. And you want to continue. And the Spirit of the Lord says, stop. You must stop. Wanting to be seen. That when you know Matthew chapter 633 off by heart. And when the Lord can speak to you. We prophesy, yes, because the Lord has given us a word. But we therefore tend to prophesy because we want to also be seen. Says, no, this is in those gati. People must know that we are powerful. Must stop. It will come to an end. Uh, I remember yeah. we used to talk about this when we started here in City Baby. When, as we are getting into ministry, we need to know when God is done talking. Mm. And we need to know when it is us who are now showing up. We don't have to be here from 7 up until 9 every day. No. When God is done talking, he's done. We switch this thing off and we go. Or we can finish up with the word and we say we are done with the word and we can start talking about whatever else it is that we want to do. Up 
we need to stop trying to show up. The world is dying. When I, when I stand up and be seen and be heard with your revelations, shut up and sit down and allow God to be seen. I said to you, it was yesterday or the day before, Sana, when you go home, even when you go home to your in-laws, you're not a CEO there, a child. Even at your mother's house, you're not a CEO there, you're a child. There you're not a pastor, you are a child. Mm. You wake up in the morning and you make coffee and tea for everybody else. Let it be them that say to you, I, you can sit down. Oh, hallelujah. And I love it. Used to bug me, ne? Oh, because of the things that you are hearing out there. No, it is because it must work in my heart. Otherwise, if it doesn't work in my heart, I will be proud. Stand here and, and, and show off and say, no, I'm not showing off. It is how you are seeing it. No, we can sense the spirit behind you why you are posting what you are posting. We can sense the spirit. We know we are spirit beings. That's how we communicate. Hmm. So, yes, please, after you are done uprooting, remember, the posture must be on God. So now I know you have come. Yes, obedience. 2023 is about obedience. It is about, make it about obedience. Amen. Make it about obedience. Obedience will take you very far. Since I met him, he's been saying this one thing, that if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the fruit of the land. Which land? The land of the spirit. Even if it's just 10 people, and I'm looking for 10 people who will say, in 2023, I want to start this thing of obeying God. I want to start it. I've been saved for 22 years. I've been saved for 16 years. But I want to, now, I want to start. I want, I want to start. Yes, I have been praying. Yes, I've been going to church. And yes, I have been reading the Bible. But now I want to start to be obedient. If you are willing and obedient, Father, I am willing. Amen. I. We are willing. Yeah. Hi, and let me tell you, I am willing alone, even if Yenahi is not. Because when I get to heaven, I am not going to be asked about him. I'm going to be asked about me. The questions that I must answer, not by myself. And then there will be questions that we need to answer together. And then he has to answer his questions by himself. Yep. Now I'm willing. Now I'm willing. I'm willing to go through the knife, Baba. I want to be obedient to the Lord. Son, I want to walk differently. So obedient that I become like Noah. Mm. That you are not able to see me anymore. First things first, I'm going to delete my social media. That's mm. the first thing that has been laid in my heart. I'm going to delete my social media. So that when the urge to want to post a new car and a new house is there, I was. So that I am unable to care. Killing myself by myself. Taking off the pride. When that thing wants to come out, I want them to see that I went to sent in to have dinner today. It's there. It's there. It's there. I'm going to take it out. I'm taking it out. I'm taking it out. Sana, I am taking it for my sake. For the sake of my work with the Lord. I'm starting somewhere. I'm starting somewhere. Um, because I want you. I want what Asa had. He didn't have to pray for anything. He didn't have to pray for peace. He didn't have to pray for his enemies to, to, to not try anything against him. No, he just did what was right. He just positioned his heart in the right. 
And the Bible says nobody tried to make war against him. And all the years that he was king, ten good years there was peace in the land. You're going to get your job. You're going to get it. You are here. Whether you are saved or you are not, you are here. You're going to get your job. Because God is that merciful and he's that gracious. He's going to give it to you. But there is something more than what you want. There is a certain life in the spirit that is so fulfilling. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Balisa, what I want to stop watching so please. Sissy, I lived for years without a TV because I realized how addicted I was to TV. Nage, I give, na I give with big things in my house. Fridge, washing machine, TV. So it was not a, a, a new thing for me to give with my TV. I just gave away my TV. Well, I was single at the time. So I just gave away my TV. And then I lived my life the way I was. Because I had to push myself to do something. I, God did not need a lot of people to save uh, Sodom. There was a point where he said, even if I can just find at least 50 people, okay. mm. the whole of Sodom did not have 50 people. I can imagine that's what God will be saying to us today. Mm -hmm. Hey, King Asa, hi, King Asa, I'm talking to you. Uproot and destroy all these other things that have been there. And then seek the Lord. And all these things will be added unto you. In Matthew 6, 33, see, Bonaco, 2 Chronicles, chapter 14, verse mm -hmm. 4. That's right. He commanded them to seek, like, and then everything else was fine. So now I know you are asking, what, what do I do with the problems that I have now? Uproot the tendencies and the everything. Job you will get, we have prayed. Peace in your marriage you will get when you decide to die. You think the problem is with your partner? No, no, no. There are many problems with you. Deal with you first. Allow God to deal with you and see if you position yourself well. If God is not going to help fix these things. Because Galoku, he will perfect everything that concerns you. Mm -hmm. He will perfect everything Hallelujah. that concerns you. He, God, perfects everything that concerns us. He, if he is the Lord, our shepherd, then we have no business wanting moving around, trying to get this and get that and get the other and get... No, no, no. We get exhausted. We get tired. And yes. now here we are. God of all truth. Now, a person whose focus is in the Lord will always be praying to say, Father, I love you. You are beautiful and you are good. You are worthy of all my praises. I love you. You just fall in love with the Lord. Jonga, how many of you, when you started praying, even when you started joining us, how many of you started feeling in love with the Lord again? And the only thing that you could say when you come into his presence was, Father, I just love you. You just fell in love with him. You wanted to quickly get home from work and just be there and mm. just and just love on him that's what happens it's not because you didn't have problems you did have problems but the only Hallelujah. thing that you would be motivated or inspired to say when you get in the presence was lord i love you or sometimes you didn't even know what to say you would just mm. sit there and your heart was just pumping and pumping and pounding he is a beautiful father. He is a beautiful God. He is beautiful in all his ways. He is merciful. He is love. He is power. He speaks for you. He fights for you. He fights for you. He says things to people that you are not even saying when in your heart. He speaks on your behalf. You don't even have to ask him. We're going to pray. We're going to pray and we're going to dedicate ourselves. We're going to dedicate ourselves. 
We're going to dedicate ourselves. You must do it for yourself. Listen to me. If you are here, you came with a prayer request, please do not be discouraged by everything that I just said right now. All I am doing is to show you that even when you have, I didn't say if, I didn't say even if, I'm saying even when you receive your breakthrough from the Lord, because breaking through for you, he will. Healing you, he will. Giving you a job, he will. Giving you a business opportunity, he will. But after you have received that from the Lord please I beg of you seek after him on a daily basis Georgia May we are here to say Lord change me change me change me change me I want to be like you I want to be pleasing to you who shot on a daily basis we are here on a daily basis on a daily basis we say father change me you may not be able to appear for a, a, a prayer meeting when we pray. However, on your every minute and every second of the day, with each and every circumstance that you are filled with, you will remember the Lord. To walk with God is that. kusela yanga pray and we're going to end this session. Be ye encouraged. There is a way to live that makes you to keep quiet but it allows the Lord to speak for you. There is a way to live. It allows God to write off your debts by himself. My prayer for all of us is that the Lord brings us back to him. The way that he wants, not the way we have been taught. The way the Spirit of the Lord is going to teach us afresh in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
that God may bring us back to him and teach us to walk with him. Give us a willing heart and an obedient heart, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Pa power and strength you have been given. Can you, can you, you can uproot that thing, sis. We prayed in the beginning for all the things that we had received. You can uproot that thing. No spirit of death formed against your family will prosper and there will be peace in your family. You continue, you continue to meditate. You continue to declare actually and you continue to speak and decree things. We continue. Remember, we have come here to pray with you and to pray for you. But the main thing is that we pray with you so that you are able to even raise others to pray for themselves and pray for others. Against you. Against your peace in the name of Jesus. Kill that spirit. Kill that spirit. Kill that spirit. Father, save even the marriages that do not even know are in trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift people up and raise them up. Lift them up in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we can still receive emails of employment even tomorrow. We can still receive them. We are open to receiving them. We are open to receiving them. Can you, God is on your side, sis. God Amen. is, I do not take it lightly, please. I do not take it lightly. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. You must, you must know the blood of Jesus runs up and down in our families and in, in our yards. The blood of it, and you confess it, and you, the word, it will work for you if you receive it. God bless you. Let us meet tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. And tomorrow, mon tomorrow actually, we are driving back to Joburg. But we will have our prayer um, in the morning at 5. <clears throat> so if it happens that by 12, we are still here in Durban, we will still have our prayer. But tomorrow, we are due to drive back to Joburg. But we will have our morning prayer. I will communicate more info if there's any changes tomorrow. The Lord bless you. We will meet you tomorrow morning. Thank you, baby, for sharing. Amen. Thank you for sharing. That was powerful. Uh, my dad has been listening from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. My dad has been listening from the window inside the house. Um, <laughs> it is really good. To, to know that um, we are in the will of God and we are doing what um, the Lord has called us for. Thank you so much, baby, for sharing. May the Lord add more to you mm -hmm. and may God increase you and may God um, add more grace and favor upon your life. You are a blessing. Amen. Um, thank you so much, saints, for coming through. No more on them zala wam saubon zala. Guys, thank you so much for coming through. The Lord bless you. I will see you tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Um, yeah, God bless you. See you. We, we cannot wait to hear the testimony the Lord will give you. The testimony will do for you. If you pass Lady Smith, what ah. we will keep you in our prayers. Do not worry, my brother. Please send a DM to this guy. We will keep you in our prayers. Uh, I love your parents. I don't even know them. Well, my mom and my oh, dad guys, you love no you. Um, if it was for them, they would download TikTok and Facebook <laughs> so that they, were a they will be able to watch and see us every day. But the good thing Testimony is that on Facebook, okay. um, on Facebook, these videos are there and we are making sure that we keep them. But next year, we are going full on we will be live on YouTube. So we will start a page raising an altar of prayer on, faith, on, on, on YouTube. Okay. The Lord bless you. Let us meet you tomorrow morning at 5. Shalom. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in. Paul, please do send a DM. 
Um, sermons, all the sermons that we've had, so just go to Facebook and search for Sandy Lekele. You will get it there. Okay? Just search for Sandy Lekele. You will get all the sermons there. All right? Yeah. The videos, all of them are there on Facebook. So you'll be able to get this one. You will be able to get the one before this one. You will be able to get all the, this week, last week, the other weeks, you will be able to get them because Facebook do keeps um, these things for us. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Good night. God bless you. We will see you tomorrow morning. Shalom.